Well, good afternoon. Leslie here. Two and a half hours south of uh, St. Vincent is a wonderful, beautiful island of Miro. And um, today I'm on uh, the beach at Salt Whistle Bay in Miro. I just came over on that boat right there with my buddies. Right? We're all over just for the day. We're going to spend the night. Head back up tomorrow. Nice way to spend uh, a weekend. Come up on uh, today's Sunday. And we'll go back on Monday. Beautiful. I have no way to express how beautiful it is to be here on an island that is inhabited by about 250 people. Walking on the beach, I'm the only person on the beach. It's the middle of the day. <laughs> I feel like Robinson Crusoe, maybe. Uh, just a spectacular feeling to be able to go to a, one of the most beautiful places in the world and have it all to yourself. There's obviously a few boats out in the harbor, as you can see, in addition to the one I came in on. In addition to that boat called Fantastic, there's a couple of other boats. The blue one in the back back there, by the way, that blue trawler out there belongs to friends of mine as well, Art and Rochelle. They're from Canada, but they spend their time down here sailing between um, St. Vincent and the Grenadines and Venezuela, Grenada, Trinidad, etc. They live on that boat full time. And uh, they're good people. We're going to have dinner with them tonight. A couple of boats down from Martinique. Switch is French charter company from Martinique. They come down here and enjoy the Grenadines as well. So, anyway, life is a beach bum, okay? Not bad. The purpose of me shooting all these videos for, for you and putting them up on YouTube so you can watch them is to encourage you to come and visit St. Vincent and the Grenadines. It is spectacular and I know that you will enjoy yourself. And I know that you can use a break from the rush, rush, rush and all of that kind of stuff that goes on every day out in the rest of the world. For those of you who are not living life like me as a beach bum, so come on down, spend some time. Uh, it's just, it's impossible to say how wonderful it is. And I know that you will find it that way too. Everybody does. I mean, just just look. Really, truly, just look. The palm trees, the beach. We've got a bunch of um, turtle grass up on the beach because there's been a bit of a storm surge in the last couple of days. But today's a lovely day. And um, there is a cute little hotel here, right nestled into the palm trees back here, by the way. Uh, and there's two people staying in it right now, having a little bit of a second honeymoon. Later on this afternoon, we're going to walk up across the top of that hill up there, down to the little village on the other side where the 250 people who live on this island live. And, uh, go to a place called Dennis's Hideaway for dinner. The people, some of the people that are on the boat, all the people that are on the boat right now, are uh, spending the night at Dennis's Hideaway. I prefer to sleep on the boat, quite frankly, listening to these waves all night long. This is the way things should be. The boat's got nice sleeping quarters on it, and then I'll have it all to myself. Alright, so that's it. Myro. Salt Whistle Bay. Come on down. Look forward to seeing you. We'll share a prayer.